the famous foundress was walking across a bridge one day when all of a sudden somebody came over and pushed her into the water. You're not going to believe who did it. And well, let me just get right into the story. It was the great St. Teresa of Avila, the foundress of I don't know how many convents of Carmel, the great reformer, the great mystic, the great saint who suffered. You know that she went three years. She was a paralytic and she was miraculously cured. But what happened on this day when she was walking across a bridge and some man came over and pushed her into the water? Do you know who it was? It was actually our Lord Jesus Christ. She had fell into those dirty, murky, muddy waters. It wasn't a very high bridge. It was a low bridge. There was no, no harm done to her. And when she looked up, she saw that it was our Lord Jesus Christ who had pushed her into the water, who had pushed her off the bridge. Can you believe it? Our Lord Jesus Christ took one of his most holy saints and put her, threw her into the muddy water. <laughs> when somebody told me this anecdote from her life, I, I couldn't believe it. How, how could our Lord do such a thing? Of course, it was just a friendly joke and St. Jesus knew that of, uh, above all, but she looked up at him and she said, but Lord, how could, why did you do such a thing to me? How could you push me into the water like that? And our Lord looked at her and grinned and said, this is how I treat my friends. That's right. There are some things that when we have a close friend, when we are in a close relationship, there are certain rules that can be broken and they're understood. And well, St. Teresa, we have to remember that she was Spanish and she had a very fiery temperament, just like many Spanish do. And she looked at our Lord and she said, well, that's why you have so few friends. And well, that's where this anecdote comes to an end. I thought I would share this, this with you. I thought it was uh, something very interesting to know about the intimacy that some saints have with our Lord Jesus Christ. Of course, you know, we've talked about saints that have suffered very much, other saints that have going, gone through horrible trials, but there is also this um, friendly side, above all, this friendly, fatherly, brotherly side of our Lord Jesus Christ. And there are many saints that um, have had great intimacy, great revelations, great communications with our Lord Jesus Christ. St. Teresa of Avila is one of the greatest mystics of all time. And this little anecdote from her life shows how intimate she, she was with our Lord Jesus Christ and how closely their friendship was. Well, may she also grant us this grace to have this intimacy with our Lord Jesus Christ, this intimacy with Our Lady, with our patron saints, and that we may speak to them just like we speak to one another and that we may rely on them for all of our needs because it is truly the only place where we, have, where we find a true solution is from heaven. Heaven is where all solutions are found. So let's always look up to heaven. And if sometimes we feel that heaven is throwing us off of life's course or our Lord Jesus Christ is pushing us off that bridge that we want to cross. Well, maybe it's not the bridge that we are supposed to cross. Maybe our Lord Jesus Christ is going to guide us on a better path. May our lady help all of you. And until next week's video, Salve Maria.